Yeah, Jason Shelby, that's right. We're definitely seeing that damage now, especially as it's getting a little bit brighter. Behind me, you can see these snapped power lines here, these poles. They've been brought down by those strong winds that came through overnight. So right now we are just outside of Norman North High School by their athletic complexes. And you can see here, obviously, the damage done uh, by, to this pole completely snapped here at the base. And if we look down that way, a little bit further down, you can see all of the other poles that have been snapped here. Uh, they're resting on the fence here. The lines are obviously down. I can tell you this side of the street was completely pitch black earlier this morning. Definitely power out in this area. Uh, not very widespread though. We can see across the street there is some power on there, so some good news here. Uh, but again, this is going to be a major cleanup here. Obviously, want to keep people away from this, especially with the high school here. I see a couple of kids being dropped off probably for their um, athletic practices or whatever um, summer activities they have going on here at Norman North High School. But again, a uh, situation that we're seeing down in Norman, these snap power lines as we've been driving through the neighborhoods, we've also seen uh, a lot of trees down, a lot of limbs, a lot of debris from again, the 60, 70 mile an hour winds that came through overnight. Uh, we're gonna continue to keep you updated and let you know hopefully when the power company is able to get this fixed and uh, the power back onto this area. For now, reporting live, Zach Rael, KOCO 5 News.